Good morning, viewers, subscribers, Kingdom Saints. Okay, so I've been working on my mic. I've been working on OBS. And I think I got it down pat. Right now, I'm on my scriptures page. And I got the music playing in the background. This is the page that I use when I'm doing scriptures. For example, let's go over here. These are the, uh, the scriptures that I have. I have a lot of scriptures. But th anyway, this is the pages I use for scriptures. And I always have the music going there. So right now I have it set up. So when the music is playing, it'll play. But when I'm talking, it'll not play. It's called ducking, ducking source. Got how to do that. I figured out how to do that on OBS. So when I'm talking, even if I'm talking low like I am right now, the music's not gonna play. But if I just shut my mouth, it'll play. But when I start talking, it'll it'll not play. So uh, what I did was I put the output gain on the mic at 22. And on the media source, which is the music, I added a ducking chain and I put Michael auxiliary to be the, um, the enforcer. So, uh, I think it's working out pretty good. You know what I'm saying? That way when I'm on my scriptures pig like I am now, You hear, you see the scripture, you see the mu you hear the music. And when I'm talking or explaining the scripture, the music will just cut out and it won't be a distraction. So what I also did was I implemented this app called Voice Attack so that I don't have to hit any buttons whatsoever for it to change the screen. So uh, I'm going to start with donations. I think this is the most important one is donations because we all like money, don't we? And I'm in need. And I also have it set up so that it'll just stay on the screen and go back to my cam. Six seconds, seven seconds. It's called uh, Advanced Scene Switcher. So you just see me go, do, watch this, donations. So it's going to go back to my, my cam in six seconds. I'm keeping my hands up so you'll see that I'm not pushing any buttons. I'm just using my voice. Okay, let's go to, don't forget to subscribe. And this is going to stay on six seconds and it's going to switch back to the cam in a minute. Yeah. Okay. What's the next one? Oh yeah. Hit that like button. Hey, oh, I know what, what I did. I said, hit that like button. I suppose to say hit the like button, hit the like button. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching any keyboards. I'm not using any hotkeys. I'm not using the mouse. Okay. Um, I'm going to say scriptures. Scriptures. There it goes. All right, what's next? Uh, oh, yeah. One faith, one baptism, one God. It's going to go back to the cam in six seconds. Okay, let's go to 
Welcome to my channel. It's gonna go back to my cam. Okay, let's go to the last one. Thanks for watching. Now that one I don't have time because that's that's always my end screen. I don't want it to go back to my cam after I say that. Because that's going to be the end screen. But it's just fantastic what you can do with OBS. It's just fantastic. You know what I'm saying? It's just like modern technology. You don't need to do anything except use your voice nowadays. You know what I'm saying? And that's exactly what we do when we go out preaching. We use our voice. We use our vessels to bring the message to the peoples, just like Jesus did. But they didn't have this modern technology back then. But I can always evangelize right here. I can evangelize up the street. I can evangelize while I go to the supermarket. I can evangelize in your household from here to your household. You know what I'm saying? So there's no excuse. We have no excuse. We have no excuse. How's everybody's day going today? May the good Lord bless and prosper you. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. I sort of made the picture better on my cam by adding a, a, a diffuser to the light in the back. I put a plastic bag over it so it wouldn't be glaring on my face. I don't like that. And I use my my closet light as a uh, as a uh, diffuser to kill the background noise. In case you're wondering what background noise is, it's when you record a video and you see pixelations in the back. That's because it has no light back there. But I might just invest in some uh, RGB lights, put them back there for when I'm when I'm uploading, when I'm making videos. Because RGB lights really help with the pixelation, with the background noise. But I think it looks good for right now. And I'm also using light. You can get them for free from gaming careers. What is a LUT? A LUT is a, a, LUT is a lookup table. It's different, different filters for your camp. Different filters. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to stick with this one right here. It's like I got over 70 of them. But if I experiment, I might find a better one. But I like this one, so I'm going to keep it. So uh, I'll keep you posted on the next time we go out, swag team. And uh, I'm just hurting right now financially because I can't go anywhere. I'm thinking about going back to work. I'm receiving Social Security benefits. Yeah, I'm retired, but... I tell you, as soon as I get my benefits, it's gone the same day. Bills and food. I bet I don't have anything left over. And I don't know what uh, Trump is about to do because I hear good things and I hear bad things. The bad things I hear is for everybody who's getting benefits and Medicare or me slash Medicaid, they're going to take $100 out of your benefits to pay for the Medicaid. Really? Is that progress? I think that's a step backwards. We should file a petition and sign off against that. Because that's not fair. There's many people that are receiving benefits right now. And Medicare or Medicaid. You know what I'm saying? And taking $100 out of their benefits just to pay for their Medicaid... Who started that? They need to change that right away. You know what I'm saying? And Trump is also talking about raising our taxes to $200 in 2025. So if you're getting $800, you get $1,000. 1000 you get 12 But that just talk. You know, politicians say a lot of things. 
to get themselves elected. But once they get into office, they have a sudden case of amnesia. Am I right about it? So I don't trust any politicians. Just talk, talk. They're all puppets. They're all puppets. And who's pulling their strings? The Illuminati. Anyway, that's my opinion. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. And um, thanks for watching.